Doug McCain here for the LA Sports Report. You can find me at DMAC underscore LA. That's at DMAC underscore LA. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, and most importantly, give me all your takes right down below in the comments section. I want all your takes on today's topic right down below in the comments section. And for all the hottest Lakers news and rumors, head over to the LA Sports Report.com. Now, usually it's not a big deal when players change agents in Major League Baseball, but on Tuesday, word got out that Astros third baseman Alex Bregman would be leaving the LeBron James owned LeBron Clutch Sports James. after word got out Friday that LeBron James is producing a documentary on the 2017 Astros and the sign stealing scandal that rocked Major League Baseball. It was first reported by the Houston Chronicle's Chandler Rome, who writes, Bregman and his agent Brody Schofield have parted ways. A person with knowledge of the situation told the Chronicle on Tuesday. And then today, Ken Rosenthal confirmed the rumors in a story in The Athletic that reads, The sports world remains shut down, but Astros third baseman Alex Bregman, runner-up in the 2019 American League MVP voting, is changing agents because of LeBron James. The answer is yes, according to four sources with knowledge of Bregman's thinking. Now, my first thought on all this was, well, 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 look who all of a sudden doesn't like cameras. What happened, Alex? You like cameras when they were helping you win the 2017 World Series and helping you accumulate statistics that allowed you to sign that $100 million extension. But now, all of a sudden, when cameras are involved to expose the 2017 Astros, you have a problem with it? And apparently, Bregman was furious that LeBron was producing this documentary. He was absolutely incensed. He caught up Clutch Sports, and he was saying, hey, I'm out. I'm firing my agent. I'm gone. Hey, if you're Alex Bregman, at least you went out with a bang. And if you're LeBron James, now you have no conflict of interest. And now you can make this documentary as juicy as it needs to be. Look, the appetite for sports documentaries is at an all-time high after Michael Jordan's The Last Dance, and LeBron James knows what he's doing. LeBron James is endearing himself to Los Angeles fans. You got to love it. King James is stepping up for the Los Angeles sports fan. Hey, LeBron. After this one, why don't you do a documentary about the CP3 team trade that never was for Chris Paul back in 2011? I think LA fans want to see that one too. But I see people out there saying, hey, LeBron, just stick to basketball. You shouldn't be worrying about producing a baseball documentary right now. And I tell that same person, hey, LeBron shouldn't stick to basketball. LeBron should stick to money because this documentary is going to make a lot of money. Lots of people are going to want to watch it. It's going to be must-see TV just like The Last Dance was. And then my message to Alex Bregman is, hey, we're just getting started here. This is the tip of the iceberg. You can expect to see feature films, miniseries, lots of books. You know you're getting tons of books, maybe the animated series, maybe a Broadway play. I don't know what it is, but the Astros sign-stealing scandal is just beginning when it comes to the documentaries, the books, the movies. So the sooner you're used to it, the better. Now, currently the working title for the documentary is Sign Language. I like Sign Language. It's solid. But LeBron James, we wanted to offer some of our own names. LeBron, check it out. First, we got age clowns. Age clowns, age town. How about age clowns? And then there's Houston. We have a cheating problem. Houston, we have a cheating problem. Then how about asterisky business? The Houston asterisk, asterisky business. And then there's for the love of the bang. Then there's field of thieves, field of dreams, field of thieves. And then how about this one? Text, lies, and videotape. So Texas, text, lies, and videotape. And then there's the last bang. Hey, we can capitalize off the last dance. It was hot. The last bang. But hey, major shout out to LeBron James. Giving the fans what they want. This documentary is going to be fire. Yes, Alex Bregman was big mad about it. Hey, he's going to have to learn to deal with this at some point eventually. But how do you guys feel? How do you guys feel about LeBron James producing this documentary about the 2017 Astros sign stealing scandal? Do you have any name ideas yourself? Let me know down below in the comments. And for all the latest Lakers news and rumors, head over to the LASportsReport.com.